Portsmouth is the traditional home of the Royal Navy, and as a major naval base and dockyard, the city was bombed extensively during the Second World War. Luftwaffe nighttime air raids began on the 24th of August 1940, when 1,320 high explosive bombs and 38,000 incendiary devices were dropped on the city, damaging the Guildhall, 30 churches, 8 schools, a hospital, and over 80,000 homes. The beach at South Sea and Portsmouth Harbour were military embarkation points for the D-Day landings on the June 6, 1944, and Southwark House, just to the north of Portsmouth, was chosen as the headquarters by the Supreme Allied Commander, U.S. General Dwight D. Eisenhower. HMS Barclay, a Hunt-class destroyer, was ordered from Camel Laird and launched on the 29th of January 1940. She participated in Operation Ariel, the evacuation of the British Expeditionary Force from ports in Western France, as well as the remaining British Embassy staff. In August 1940, she escorted mine layers during mine laying operations SN32. She spent September on anti-invasion patrols in the English Channel and escorting convoys from North America with much needed supplies. In the film, HMS Barclay is seen escorting Liberty ships, which were a type of cargo ship built in the United States, adapted for its simple, low-cost construction. This class of ship was developed to meet British orders for transport to replace ships that had already been lost in the war. Eighteen American shipyards built 2,710 Liberty ships between 1941 and 1945, easily the largest number of ships ever produced to a single design. Mass produced on an unprecedented scale, the Liberty ship came to symbolize US wartime industrial output. The film also shows sailors drawing their rum ration, a tradition that was ended in 1970. It started when water in the casks on sailing ships often develop algae and taste putrid and sour. Beer, which the Royal Navy served before switching to rum, didn't last when it was hot and humid. A significant reason that the Royal Navy encouraged the rum ration was the danger of scurvy, which was common to sailors who didn't get much fresh fruit that contained vitamin C. Although rum doesn't naturally contain vitamin C, it goes well with lime juice, which ships carried and gave out to sailors daily. The film also features an image of the filmmaker, Miss Rosie Newman, who had a home in Piccadilly, London, next door to 145 Piccadilly House, a house used by the Duke of York and his family before his accession to the throne as King George VI.